In this video, we will make a memory cell using two transistors. This is the second component that we will need in order to make a simple binary calculator using only transistors. Here you can see that the circuit remembers its lost state and maintains it. So the way that this works is that we have two inverters connected in a loop. We have two states for the memory logic high and logic low. This circuit configuration allows for the states to be maintained until they are changed. For the logic high case, when this point here is logic 1, the voltage over here becomes logic 0 as this inverter inverts the logic level. The inverter here then again inverts the logic level back to logic 1 and the cycle continues which is for the logic low case we can see that in a similar way this point is made logic 0 this becomes logic 1 and then again logic 0 and the cycle continues. This state is also stable. On the breadboard, the circuit is implemented in this way. Now if you remember from the last video, these two circuits here are just inverters. The output of the first inverter is connected to the second inverter and the output of the second inverter is connected to the input of the first inverter, thus completing the loop. This circuit is conceptually identical to the ones shown previously. Now, in the next video, we will make a full adder circuit using only transistors. After we have done that, we will be able to use it with the memory that we have built in this video and complete our 4-bit binary calculator.